Hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to toggle on and off objects for VR chat in Unity using the 3.0 SDK. So without further ado, let's get into this. All right, so the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to import the objects I'm going to need to, for my uh, characters. So I'm going to import a guitar. So I'm going to name my folder guitar. This is up to you, it's your choice. I, I do it just to keep it nice and organized. So I'm going to take the 3D object along with the textures, drag that in. All right, and then I'm going to right click in here, go to create, and then material, name it guitar. And then I'm going to drag those textures into the material here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that object up here into the hierarchy, resize so that it, whoop, looks normal. Depending on the object you import into here, uh, you, you really have to resize it sometimes, not always. But now I'm going to take that object. Now, for right now, I'm just using a guitar for an example. You, be, you may be using a hat, another piece of clothing, or another object. And um, what you're going to do with that is you're going to move it to where you want it to be attached and move along with. So it's in a T-pose T state. I'm going to keep in mind that when you go to move it around in game, it's going to follow uh, whatever part of the body you have it attached to. So since my arm is out, straight out like this, I'm going to have it tilted a little, a little sideways here rotate it so it's a little bit with the uh, hand here so what i'll be doing here is attaching this guitar to the hand which i'll show you here try to get it as good as you can and then once you have it as best as you can i'm going to then apply that material to the object as you can see click on the guitar and i'm going to go over here click the model and then keep pressing these little arrow buttons down until you get to the part of the armature that you want to attach the new object to. So for me, I'm going to attach it to the right hand and then drag it in there. So now it is attached and will follow the right hand here. And then when I'm done, I can just press this little check mark up here in the inspector. And I can close this if I want to. And what I'm going to do next here is now I'm going to duplicate this main model. So I'm going to press Control D, click that first model, the original, turn it off using the little check mark, keep this on. And what I'm going to do is go to the animation screen here. And if you don't have that, you can go up here to Window and then turn it on in animation, I believe. And it should bring up that window here. You're going to go to Create. And I'm going to name it Guitar for the animation. Add property, and I'm going to keep going down in the armature here to the object. And then I'm going to press this little plus button right next to it. Click it so it is checked, and then press Preview. And as you can see, it is showing up, which means it worked. And then just you can also check to make sure everything looks lined up. but you can always go back here. So how I would do that is once I'm done with this animation, and as you can see, it is a little off here for the hand. What I'm going to do is then press preview, click on that second model, delete, go to project, click this so it's checked again and back on, go down to the guitar, turn it back on, and then just kind of rotate. For me, I just have to rotate it a little bit. There we go. And I am going to turn it back off. And there we go. And then once you've got how you want it to look and it's all matched up perfectly, what we're going to do next is get it so you can trigger it on and off. So you're going to click your model and then go down here to FX. You're going to double click that. And this is where we're going to create it so that you can turn on and off the object. So I'm going to go over here to parameters. Press the little plus button here. Go to int or integer for sh integer, but int for short. And then I'm going to name it guitar.
car, but depending on the object, you're going to name it whatever it is or whatever you want it to be. And I'm going to press the little plus button again, name it guitar. I assume that's, yeah. And then I'm going to press the little gear icon here, change that to one. And now I'm going to right click in here. I'm going to create new state empty and do the same thing again, create empty state. And then I'm going to click on that first one, make transition to the second one, click on the second one and make a transition back to the first one. And then I'm going to rename this new state here to off for the first one. Go down here to transition. And I usually make the exit time zero and turn it off. And then in the conditions, I'm going to press the little plus button, go down to the integer. And I'm going to make it so it's when it's equal to one, it'll be off. Go over here to the second new state, do the same thing here. I'm going to set it to zero, turn off the exit time, create a new condition guitar, and I'm going to have it so it's not equal to one, it will turn it on. And now I'm going to drag in the animation. So wherever you have the animation at, which is pretty much wherever, when you went and duplicated it and created a new animation, whatever uh, folder you had open in the projects, it'll save it there. So since I had the guitar folder open last, this is where it saved the animation to. I'm going to click and drag that up here into motion. Also going to rename this to on. And there we go. Now I'm going to go back to click. I'm going to click the model again and I'm going to go over to parameters here. And whichever one is empty, doesn't matter. I'm going to name it the same thing it was in here in the parameters here and in layers. So guitar, make sure to set to integer in here, enter. And then I am going to go to main, I'm going to go to the menu screen here. This will bring up the main menu here. So now what I'm going to do is I, for me, if I'm going to have multiple objects, I'm going to turn on, I like to create a new sub menu. So how I'll do that is I'm going to add control, name it, I'm going to name it object two, since I already have a, another sub menu for objects, change it to a sub menu. And then what I'm going to do down here in the project is right click, create, go up here to VR chat, avatars, and expression menus. And I'm going to name that objects two, for example. And I'm again going to go back to the menu. And in objects two, I'm, or in the, uh, the main menu, I'm going to drag the objects two into the sub menu here for the objects too. So then it'll bring me to here, where actually I'm going to add a new control, name it guitar, and I'm going to make this a toggle so it'll toggle the animation on and off, and change it to guitar, so find the integer, have it so it changes the value to one, and that should be it. Now let's say maybe you wanted to use a parameter that had multiple uses how you can do that is of course i created right and left so any objects i turn on with my right hand will use the same parameter and for example now i'm going to show you anything i turn on with my left hand parameter using my parameter that turns on any objects on my left hand what i'm going to do for that is go up here i created a parameter called it left for example and then i'm going to create a new layer i'm going to call it left and now what I'm going to do is create a new state, empty. I'm going to name it just none, it be idle, whatever you want it to be. And then I'm going to have this any state here transition up to none. So what you just do is right click, make transition. And then I'm going to create another new state, empty. And I'm going to name this one drink because it's going to be 
a little soda. And then what I'm going to do is go back here to any state, right click, make transition up here to drink. And I'm going to drag in the animation that I need up here to motion and then go here to this little line that goes up to drink and any state. And now I am going to add a new condition, use this left parameter, have it so when it equals one, it'll turn that on. And now I'm going to go back over here to the transition from any state to none and press that line again, go to conditions, add another one, left equals zero. So now I'm going to create another left hand state, make a transition. Uh, for now, I don't have any other uh, objects I was going to toggle on with my left hand. So for now, I'm just going to drag in uh, just a random one for now, but I'm going to drag in another animation, do the same exact thing, except when I add a condition, I'm going to use the same variable again, using left equals, and I'm going to set it to two. So for however many um, conditions or animations you add, you're just going to keep doing the same thing, but having it so that that parameter increases by one every time, depending on how many new conditions you have. And that's how you can create multiple uh, conditions or animations using the same parameter. So you don't have to create a new parameter every animation or uh, condition you want. So instead you can just use one parameter for multiple uses. Now when going back into the main menu for this, I'm gonna go here to objects, first one, and now, making sure you remember which one is which. Uh, so pistol equals one for me, rifle equals two. Going down the line, each equals plus one for every other one. It's plus one going down the line. So what I'm gonna do is since pistol's first, I'm gonna have it so, since it's using the right parameter, I'm gonna have right and the value will, st will still stay at one since it's the first one. But for rifle, since that's the second one, I'm gonna change that to two. And you'll just do that down the line for each one. So once you are done with that, I can now go and upload it. All right, and once you are in VR chat, you can then open up your avatar, go to expressions, and then go to the um, sub menu, and then you can turn on your new object, which should work. So now I can toggle it on and off, just like this. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, possibly leave a like, even subscribe, and you have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.